Hello everyone, and welcome to a Lawrence Plays Nostalgia Run. Yes, we're going to be trying something, um, I was going to say something a bit different, but it's um, actually something old, so we're, we're giving it another try, because we thought it'd be good fun. We're going to play Manhunt Controller, and that's the one where um, Mike sits on the top of a building somewhere looking at a map that's got, all, that's got everybody marked on it, and then he tells the hunters where to go in order to help them uh, try, try and find me and hunt me down. Uh, so, there's no sort of, there's no no sneakiness for me in this game mode at all. I can't I can't hide from the hunters because the controller knows exactly where I am. And because I thought it'd be entertaining, I've picked out a very, very obviously me car. I've got a felt so that's in my colour. It's got my name written on the back of it. It's got stupid, stupid car mods like the, the ludicrous wing and so on. So there's no point in trying to be subtle. I'm just going to hoon around the city and the other two are going to... The two hunters are going to try and find me with quite a bit of help from a friend. Uh, so, they are going to be, I believe, in coupes, as is traditional on this channel. Uh, whereas I'm in a sports car, which means I have a certain speed advantage over them. And so, in the in... Oh, I hear shooting already. Blimey. Uh, I was going to say, so in the interest of sort of fairness and stuff, I'm going to try and s mostly stick to um, not motorway roads. Because that way... I don't know, I was going to say, in theory, um, it means my um, sports car is less of an advantage than it would otherwise be. But I'm not sure whether that's true, because a lot of the advantage of um, the better classes of cars in GTA isn't just the raw speed they can pull off, it's the fact that they can accelerate much more quickly. So everything's got, or a lot of the cars have relatively similar top speeds, so if I got onto a motorway, I'd probably pull away from them gradually, but it would be a relatively long chase, I suspect. Whereas if I'm duck ducking in and out of buildings like this, then the Feltzer's acceleration is going to hopefully give me a little... Well, I feel like it might give me a bit of an edge. Oh, that was my first crash. I was doing so well. So, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to bomb around at semi-randomly and uh, see how it goes. So so they're not using their normal brightly coloured coupes. We've, we've gone for a sort of a slightly stealthier approach for them. So that means that they might be um, somewhat easier to... Sorry, somewhat harder to see than they normally are. And so the first I might realise about them being around is either I'll see a car driving like an absolute lunatic other than the one right in the middle of the screen. Um, or I'll... Oh dear, taco truck. Whee! That was... Um, unfortunate. This is probably how they're going to catch me from me having a um, an unfortunateness like that and um, <laughs> things going terribly, terribly wrong. Um... Yeah, so there's a fair, pretty good chance the first I will know about them being behind me is either seeing a car driving like an absolute lunatic or having something smash into me um, unexpectedly. So, And then once that happens, then we'll be in a chase and we'll see how much of a difference the two diff the different car types make. But I've learned, I learned probably about a year ago actually when we first started doing the GTA videos that um, the best way to stay alive in, um, in, in controller is basically just to keep moving fairly quickly. You can occasionally pull off little tricks like jamming on the brakes and joining a queue of traffic as the hunters fly past if you're lucky, if they haven't worked out what car you're driving. But since I'm driving something really rather obvious, I'm not going to be able to pull that one off, I don't think. So I'm just going <laughs> to hit other cars apparently. Uh, yeah, so that's the sort of thing, as I say, that's going to give them a chance to catch up with me. Me making, me making mistakes, basically. Um, and we'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, they might they are clearly having a bit of trouble catching up with me because of the problem, dear. Um, I've been staying in. Oh, there's one of them. What? So what's he driving? That's a, oh, it's a banshee. Okay, so they haven't gone for the coupes. They're going for something a little bit sportier. But that's that's probably fair given the time driving a Feltzer. So I'm not. I'm, I don't think I can object to that too much. <laughs> it means we're reasonably evenly matched, and that means I can feel a bit less guilty about just putting my foot down and trying to flee across the city. Um, especially as one of them was shooting at me then, and I think that probably means he's got out of his car. So, I think, I'm pretty sure they said that the initial, at least in, at least to start with, they were going to go with the old no shooting from inside vehicles rule, because it makes it a little bit too easy. They get As soon as they essentially get anywhere behind me, they can start trying to shoot out my tyres. Now, this might not last, because as, as I was saying earlier, there are only two hunters, and that makes it tricky for them because they can't really, they can't cover very much of the city. They're a little bit limited on what they can, ooh, come on, get some grip, there we go. 
they're a bit limited in how much coverage they can give the city. They can't do a particularly big ambush for me. Oop, there's, a ban there's a banshee behind me again. So, right, I think it's time to start doing some... Trying, trying some shenanigans a little bit, shall we? So we go around here, this way, and a little bit of off-road, because that'll, that makes it harder for um, Mike to, descri to describe to them where they should be going. It brings me out in, a, in an unexpected direction, and I can start playing silly wasp names in the, um, through, through some of the alleyways. Now, I haven't seen the other hunter yet. I don't know which one that is. Whether it was, it was, it was a black banshee. I mean, I don't know. I don't. That, that doesn't help me identify the uh, the driver, unfortunately. Normally, I'm used to them be, all being color coded, and so I can say, "Oh yes, that's Tristan. Oh, that's Pete." And uh, it's, it's all very, very easy. But, but no, because I'm um, because I'm the only one in a color coded car. Which is a nice illustration there. I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. I wasn't sure if there was a way through down there, so I thought, better go a different way instead. Right, let's get up here. Oh, alright, I'll go this way then. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> I'm sticking with the trying to stay off the motorways thing, mostly. Um, partly that sort of habit isn't quite the right word, but... Yeah. I've been doing, I've started off doing that, so I'm sort of carrying on with it. Um, and I think having getting onto a motorway and just putting my foot down wouldn't be particularly exciting, so I don't want to do that. Um, but I might if I'm actually being chased. At the moment, I'm just sort of pootling around and driving evasively, so... Let's go back over here again. I know, I know, I've been here already, but there's no harm in doing it again. This is slightly more motorway than I was trying to do, so let's go up here instead. Oh, that's tougher than it looked. Go through here, there we go. Right, it's been remarkably quiet. I haven't seen anyone for a little while. Um, now, obviously, there, there's the chance of me actually being able to get away are very, very small, because they've got the controller who's telling them exactly where to go. They'll always be able to find me. But if I can just sort of... Oh, that was a bit of stutter from the game. Um, if I can just flee across the city at fairly high speed quite frequently like this, then it makes it it makes it makes hard for them to, to work out where I am. and or It makes it very, very difficult for them to get ahead of me. Going into the storm drain is always a favourite. So let's do that for a moment. And... Yeah, bomb up this way a bit. Yeah, why not? Stormbrain is great until you get to one of the ends of it and you find you either can't get out or you've got stuck and there's a um, all you can do is try not to um, fall in the lake at the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I can come out I can come out of the train yard there on the left, but I don't really want to because it's an awful place to get out of. I am running out of a uh, place though. Here we go. That's where I would like to do. Just try not to get hit by a train. Um, this looks like a. Where does this even go? Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> like I said, I, the, um, the storm drain is, is a tricky one to get in and out of. Is that a helicopter following me? That would be an interesting way to do controller stuff. Let's head back down here again at high speed and see if that um, allows me to be remotely evasive. No, I don't think that, I don't think that helicopter is following me. That must have been uh, just a random AI. Um, can I get out here? Yes, I can. Ow, what was that? Much more solid tree than I was expecting, that's what I was for sure. Okay, let's get back across the bridge into the main part of the city again. And we'll try and look down into the uh, storm drains I go back. I don't see any hunters down there. Maybe they're not, maybe they weren't following me. I, I don't know, they've been, um, it's been quiet. They're uh, obviously struggling to keep up with me. Now, one of the things that has changed quite a lot since we used to do this mode way back in the days is that, um, we all have much, much better map knowledge. So it used to be back in the day that I was hooning around more or less at random because I didn't know where I was going. Yeah, there were there were landmarks I recognised and stuff like that. But it was basically it was it was a game we could play without actually knowing our way around the city and without being very good at driving as well. You might say I'm still at that point, but you know, I couldn't possibly do it. Um, yeah, so I, we were able to play it without for it without any significant map knowledge because the controller was able to give directions like take the next left, take the second right, that sort of thing. Um, and allow the uh, 
the hunter and it can basically give the hunters very very detailed instructions on exactly where to go to help them help them navigate around when they didn't know where they were going either um now that's not so much the case anymore we now we now all know the map much much better um so now it's down to he's probably going to be giving them instructions like telling them yes i'm in vinewood heading eastbound towards casino that sort of thing uh because now everybody knows knows the map significantly better it allows them to be a bit more um it means the hunter doesn't have to micromanage sorry the, the controller doesn't have to micromanage the hunters quite so much oh thank you <laughs> very, very much appreciated right so there we go there's one of the hunters is that a second one behind me? I can't couldn't see another one. But I've got one right behind me. So I think we'll just go for a bit of a... Um, not a straight line, but a sort of a... Just a, just driving around the city city merrily and seeing if you can keep up with me, which you probably can. Ooh, I was going to say you probably can, but I've seemed to lost him already. So that means I should slow down a bit and let him catch up. Oh, there he is. Right, okay. <laughs> I can keep going. Go this way. Take him on a, um, a a nice sightseeing tour around the city. If I slack off the accelerator a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I made a few modifications to this car, like um, that one. <laughs> Whoa, that didn't go quite as I was hoping. It was meant to be an end or braking manoeuvre, but it didn't quite. <laughs> it didn't quite go as I wanted it to. <laughs> Still, never mind. Alright, back in, in into downtown now. So, um, whoever that is, is presumably going to be, I don't know, he may, he could potentially be giving a bit of a commentary to the, um, back to the, the other hunters, but there's not really any point, because they've got the controller who's going to be giving them much more detailed information. Now, perhaps the way we should, pl should play this would be to have the, um, the controller guiding the player, guiding the hunters until the chase starts. And then the hunter gets... And sorry, then the controller becomes... Ooh, shooting. Okay, right, I know where Mike is then. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Mike, as the as the controller, is allowed to be in a... On top of a building or something like that with a... Apparently a machine gun of some sort. So he was taking some pot shots at me then. Um, I don't think... I don't think he got anything um, important because I'm still going quite happily. Let's go this way. Golf course, okay. So, right, it's probably going to be a good idea for me to avoid the shopping centre. It's also actually possible that he's hopping around the city when um, between um, he might be on an oppressor or on a helicopter or something like that, and he can hop around the city and go from place to place to sort of um, if because because I have I, I'm aware that I have driven past the shopping centre quite a few times. So maybe he thought I was it was somewhere I felt safe or happy going. So he wanted to um, I, uh, so he thought it'd be a good place to set up an ambush. I mean he was right. I was. Um, there again relatively soon after. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about how much damage my car is taking. It's still driving okay at the moment, so it's not too much of a problem yet, but at some point I'm probably going to run out of car. Um, and changing cars in this game mode is virtually impossible because the hunters will never be very far behind me. They will always be very close because, again, because of the controller. I can't do with the sort of the... Um, the getting away thing and then finding a safe place to change cars because the um, the controller will always guide them to me so the limit the limit on the end of this game might actually be down to my um, how, how well I drive and how long I can make my car last for actually let's not go down there that's where the shopping centre is and that's where Mike is let's go down this one instead yeah that's far enough away I'm probably safe so yeah the, the hunters themselves don't actually have the map lifts to help them find me. Um, they have they're relying on the um, on the controller. That I know. I thought that um, orange ready orange uh, muscle guy behind me might have been another hunter, but uh, by the way he's driving, I'm guessing probably not. It was the wrong sort of bad driving. <laughs> so now I could I could go into red car park because there's often a. Um, there's often a natural spawn of a quite a quite a quite nice group of sports cars in there. Uh, no, doesn't seem to be. Okay, this may have been a bad idea. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Oh, oh no, was that a tire? 
Yes, that was a tyre. Okay, that might be the run nearly over then. I've, I, I'm, um, I'm a tyre down, so I, uh, I think I'm going to start struggling at this point. Okay, going into red car park was a, was was a bad idea. That's cost me. It cost me a tyre, which I don't know if you can tell from the from the video, is serious, very seriously affecting the handling of my car, um, and that's why I'm now parked in front of this police station and can't get going again. I think I hear a car pulling up. Yes, I do. There he is. No, that's another car, another tyre. Duck, duck, duck. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I have. I don't know if I have any tyres left at this point. Oh, I think I have one of the front tyres. I should actually. I should seriously consider changing a car somewhere around here. Um, I need a, basically. I need a. Ban I want a banshee. Uh, what's in here? Okay, we'll take that muscle car, I guess. Because what else am I going to do? I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. There we go. <laughs> oh, sucks. <laughs> okay, Lawrence is currently just north of Mays Bank, heading towards Red Car Park. Just passing the north side of Red Car Park. Chaps, if you'd like to go, let's go! Heading towards Art Gallery at what I've described as non trivial speed. Um, right, left. Passing right. Art Gallery. Yep, left, right, left. Uh, then another right, and then another left. He's gone south from Art Gallery. So if you want to go up to the northern corner of Vespucci Canals, and we'll take it from there. Um, and I notice immediately you're going in different directions. Okay, uh, and then head south towards Helipad. So Lawrence is now approaching, he's up Vespucci Canals corner. Um, he's going towards Helipad from there. So Tristan, you probably want to take the next right. Yeah. Um, and then Lawrence has done a left swing at the next junction in front of you, Pete. Uh, he's heading back up towards Art Gallery, um, passing construction site, doing the chicane. He's one junction south of Art Gallery. He's approaching Art Gallery. He's at the Art Gallery junction now. He's turning left towards you, Tristan. Um, oh, he and he's right. gone immediate right uh, uh, yeah, up the Art Gallery bridge towards Five Ways. Uh, other way, Pete. And he's turned first left at Five Ways. Um, and then a double right. So Tristan, go uh, the. He's, he's still going uh, to, a, to a shopping centre. Go towards shopping centre, everyone. Okay. Tristan, you're on the same road as he is. If you take that turn there, um, I'm on top of oh, shopping centre, and I'm tempted to give him a shot. Sh uh, a shock. He's he gone went... down past oh, LS Customs. Okay, yep, and yeah. he's now going um, through the shopping centre tunnel. Um, I've got sniper view. If he goes on north side of shopping centre, he's turned left. And is now on that corner, emerging now, yep. heading north from the north. Never eat northeast side of shopping centre. Turn first left at the top of the hill. The traffic lights. Uh, and north. then right again, still heading north. Uh, coming up to Rooster's Rest, he's turned right there. Pete, if you keep going straight up the hill in front of you. Yeah, heading east further. Uh, in fact, yeah, uh, yep, still heading east. And uh, still heading east. Still heading east. That. He's now turning south. Now turning south. Pete, he's one road over to your east. <laughs> Still heading south. Still heading south. Still heading south. Crash. And he's just turned... Oh, he's, that's a crash. I like to, uh, going to get the construction site. I'm on the east side if you want to... Oh, no, come out south. He's now heading center. west. Heading west towards shopping centre. Next right, Pete. And he's turned south. Past construction site on the opposite side from you, Tristan. He's now passing. I want to say Arcadius. It's a long time since I've remembered these callouts from the air. He has turned left at higher lower. Unsure whether it's higher or lower. Um, turn left there, uh, Tristan and Pete. And then he's turned north from Square of Squares. Um, still heading north. Still heading north. Still heading north. And he's now heading west, west, and back towards shopping centre. Heading towards shopping centre. Heading towards shopping centre. And he's going through shopping centre tunnel. Oh, I can hear him in the background. That's nice. And he's turned right and crashed, just outside shopping centre tunnel. 
Um, now heading north from the west side of shopping centre, and he's going along the north side of shopping centre. Pete, turn right. He's just passed underneath you, but I didn't shoot him. Pete, he's just passing in front of you. Now turn right. He's heading towards Casino. Oh, the, the bridge south of Casino. He's crashed. crashed. Pete, you're on top of him. Tristan, he's emerging on your next left. So go up there. Yep, he's just about to emerge. That's him. Go in front of you now. Heading south past construction site. Uh, past Arcadius? Or is that yep. Penrith? Arcadius. Arcadius. Well, here you got it right. Still heading south. Still heading south. Just booking it south. Still on the same road. But still booking it south. Still booking it south. Very hard. Into ghetto. Um... And then he's gone on to tramline, heading along tramline. Still heading along tramline, about half the way down the length of ghetto now. Still heading along tramline. And he's turned left, um, next left, Pete. And then left again at the top. And then immediate right. I do not remember the call. I've got a map here. Towards Ring of Fire. Um, right there, Pete. Next right, Tristan. He's still going straight, uh, and he's going across the bridge. So oh, go shit. straight, Pete, and then to the right across the bridge. Tristan, next left. And sorry, big pardon, he's turned left up towards Rail Yard. Uh, before the bridge, after. Before the bridge, sorry, before the bridge. Left, Tristan. Uh, oh, sorry, Pete, that's being a bit slow. Oh, he's gone under the highway in the off-road bit through that bit. Left there, Tristan, that he likes to do. And he's going back into Ghetto. Um... Keep going straight there, Tristan, and then go right. Oh, yep. Uh, go left there, then next right. Uh, he's coming north of Ghetto, uh, one over from Square Squares. And he's turned left, so he's heading along the road that's east-west, just above Ghetto. And he's turned left back into... Oh, no, he's not. He looks like he's crashed. So keep going, Tristan. And he's... Oh, he's off-road, going onto the low way. And he's gone down onto the low way to your left there, Tristan. Yep. Heading south on the low way. Uh, at this point, it's probably still on the way. He's either hard, 180... No, he's gone on to the... He's taking the next exit. Uh, exit, turning right back towards Helipad. Where's Pete gone? Where has... Oh, there's Pete. Um, nice so he's now passing Helipad. Heading north towards... Arc, uh, yeah, heading north towards Art Gallery. He's had a crash. Is he a good driver? Still heading north towards Art Gallery. Uh, he's turned right and is now heading uh, past the south side of Red Car Park towards Square Square. He's turned right again into Apartments Car Park. Uh, Tristan, he's going to go for the low way in a moment, I think. Yep, there he's taking the jump forward towards the low way. He is on the wrong side of the highway heading south. Oh, that's close enough. And he's cut out into Ghetto. So if we proceed to that, uh, each really, uh, northwestern corner of Ghetto. He's just come back out onto the road there, and he's just entering the tram line at the northwestern corner of Ghetto and heading back along tram line. Still heading along tram line. Still heading along tram line. Still heading along tram line. Did you just take a jump very badly, Tristan? Yep. I think I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's turned left. He's now heading up the railway. So tell you what. Um, both of you, if you... Let's just go along the north side of Ghetto and just keep moving along that way. And we'll see what he does and we'll react to him. He's gone into Storm Drain. Oh, that's unhelpful. Okay, uh, make your way to the Oldfield checkpoint. Let's try the... Uh, actually, no check last. Um, he's heading north up the left fork of Storm Drain. So make your way to Railyard. 20 minutes out of Storm Drain. <laughs> Still heading north up Storm Drain. So yeah, if Pete turned left and just belt, belt up there, just to turn left and just belt up there. And he's, go he's going right to the top end of Storm Drain. Okay, no, he's exiting just underneath Mirror Park. Mm -hmm. So Tristan, if you want to go left, then right, and go over the bridge into Mirror Park now. Is he exiting or is he...? No, he's still back, he's back in the Storm Drain. Um, Tristan, do you want to go to the Storm Drain from there if you can? Okay, I'll look for a way in. He's turned around, he's now going south down Storm Drain. Pete, turn left there and go down Storm Drain. Say when he's about level. We'll get it about level, level now, now, now. Level oh, you now, okay. Tristan. Just gone past Pete, you're going to emerge just in front of him. He's on your right. Oh, I see him. He's, he's coming out on the left-hand side. 
Uh, he's, he's no, he's not. He come back in. Uh, he's he's where you entered, Pete. He's going out there. He's now going out of the storm oh. drain. You've you, you've got Pete. Um, Lawrence just exited where you guys. Uh, yeah, he, he's on the bridge above you right now. Um, I'm in a banshee now. So he's on square. He's on south side square of squares. Um, and he's just belting across the city. Tell you what, let's let's regroup you both out of the storm drain, and we'll take it from there. Cause he's just going to mull around for a bit. He's heading north, one road over from shopping centre. Just as a general point of interest, so Tristan's out by Vincent. And he's going through shopping centre right now. Okay, looks like you both out. He's crashed in the. <laughs> I heard him crash in shopping centre. <laughs> oh, he's coming out north side shopping. He's coming out the car park north side shopping centre. Give me. I've got no weapons. No, you have to spawn them. This isn't an actual game mode or anything. Ah! Oh, it means I've not got. I haven't got any weapons either then. Oh, it's, that's why I was mentioning them at the start. Okay, so he's he's now he's still north of shopping centre. He's one road over up. So keep going north there, Tristan. There's two junctions up from you heading to intercept. Um, one junction up, he'll intercept you at the next junction. Keep going north, Pete. Yep, That's him going. going yep. east. Pete, go right, and then curve that up. Okay, he's approaching Casino Bridge. He's turning right before that. Turning. Uh, he's crashed. So keep going yes, up there, he Pete. Crashed. And go around the sickle shape, and then turn right and go over the the lower bridge and they are just ahead of you approaching Mirror Park yeah got him okay and he's in Mirror Park looks like he's had a crash or two looks like Tristan's had a crash or two as well yep. getting clockwise around the lake yep still going clockwise around the lake and going anti-clockwise to try and head you off nope, yep he's, he's just ex ex exiting Mirror Park south Turning right immediately. Yep. And felt here with the where? bridge heading towards north side of Square Squares. He's weaving back and forth a lot. He's trying to mock me, I think. There's a clown there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turn right, beat. Square Squares. Oh. Yep, Square Squares. Across the north side. Hopefully that put a bit of damage on his car then. Just due west from there. Yep. North side red car park, turning right, turning north at Dogleg. Going up coming? the east side of... Uh, he's, I, I've only got a shot when he's at the actual... Going across the north side of car, red car park. Uh, um, I assume that's his car. The blue one. Yeah. I've lost him now. It might not have been his car. Um, <laughs> slightly awkward. Okay, he's still going along uh, um, low, high, low, how the low car parks even. Oh yes, I see him. Um, well, he's on north side of low car parks, heading along, turning right at golf course, heading anti-clockwise around golf course. We might need like top from inside a car. <laughs> yeah, if this goes on much longer we'll authorise that. Still going anti-clockwise around golf course, turn left, Pete. You're quite a way over. And he's turned right into hills, and then right again. I was getting some shots off occasionally, but never hitting anything. And right... Oh, he's crashed. Yeah, he did. Yep, so uh, take the next left, Pete. Yep. Try and bring you in front of him. And then the road will fork, go left. Oh, this is a gamble, he's got to go the right way. And yes, he did, perfect. And then. he's So he's heading south, keep going, Pete. If you I'm can. gonna shoot him from here. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he's, 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 he's one road over from you. Uh, sorry, stand by, I'm trying to get weapons. No worries. Just pistol. Okay, so he's, he's back on the main road, heading. East at speed towards casino. What's our policy about fixing vehicles? 
Uh, Nick, a new one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's taking the next right, Tristan, heading south. I thought I saw that, but I wasn't sure. And there's a car on the way. Yeah. It was ever thus. And he's slowed right down in front of you, Tristan. He's like one junction ahead of you. Oh, he's sped up again. Why oh, you slow down as well? Is there something there that makes people go slow? Uh, the fact that the controller's saying he's slowed down right in front of you. Ah, next, next right, Pete. Oh, fair enough. Uh, he's gone right across Mays, uh, the north side of Maze Bank. Uh, so next right, Tristan. Um, he's currently passing through higher lower, heading north side of Red Car Park. Red Car Park. Going through Red Car Park. And he's he's turned left inside Red Car Park. So he's currently in Red Car Park. Turn left there, Tristan. He's now. Oh, I, I don't actually. Uh, coming he's coming out, out north side. side. I am and he's back. turned left, heading past Art Gallery now. Still heading west. Still heading west. Looks like he... No, maybe didn't crash. Still heading west, and he's turned... He's crashed. I'm at Art Gallery now. Yep, keep going straight, Pete. And yep. Tristan, he's just ahead on your right. You're cont contacting him now. He might be in. He might have gone down a jump. Or his right might be below you. Um, Pete, at this junction ahead, he's sort of looks like he's back on the road. Keep going straight, Pete. Uh, he's just passing the pedestrian area. Maybe he changed car. Keep going. Oh, keep going that way, Pete. Yes. Yep. No, he's still so he's now car. heading south, south down Vespucci Beach side towards be towards Beach Checkpoint. He's turned right, so next right, Pete. He's going onto the beach front. Oh no, he's stopped right in front of you, Pete. He's right there. So Tristan um, goes straight through ah. and then right and then left. Got him. Okay. I'm not gonna work. <laughs> I think he may have been trying to show boat. Uh, he was changing cars. I knew change. Oh, okay. bad idea. But I didn't have any tyres left. Oh, I did actually get your tyres then, good. <laughs> oh, I think you literally got all of them. You got... I, I lost, I think, two tyres in Red Car Park, and then I lost another one when I was stuck in the front of the police station. 